old Spock rescues young Kirk. And Spock explains to Kirk the situation through a mind meld. I think the explanation is fairly lousy. Let's watch. I promised the Romulans that I would save their planet. We outfitted our fastest ship. Using red matter, I would create a black hole, which would absorb the exploding star. I was en route when the unthinkable happened. The supernova destroyed Romulus. Sorry, I had little time. I had to explain. How did the supernova just kind of sneak up on Romulus? What do you mean? Like, the star exploded. But I mean, we this the timeline of stars is millions, billions of years a lot of the time. Billions, yeah. And even a supernova, which probably is this really fast process, could probably take a couple hundred years. Like it could start showing signs. I see what you're saying. And it happens so rapidly that Romulus was completely unprepared. I just like, so it, oh, whoops. I think I've, oh gosh, I did this calculation years. I don't remember the answer. So so the, the actual supernova event, so like the mm -hmm. collapse and explosion is very fast. Very fast. But the build up to supernova event is very slow. Like yeah. for example, for, for Earth, we're like, we, we have this prediction that the sun is gonna expand and, and envelop the Earth, but it's like billions of years. Like we know it's coming, you have plenty of time. And so the Romulans, like they're 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 no they're no slouches. Like they're they're very technologically smart. They're very scientifically good. So they should know this is coming. So so yeah. how did they get surprised by an explosion? Like they they have ships. They had plenty of time to get everyone off planet. That's right. And also, this has to be the star that their planet is revolving around. It can't be a star nearby because that's going to be light years away. In I which see. case, the shock waves are going to take. Well, okay, say it's two year light years away. That's the closest star to Vulcan. Or sorry, mm, yeah, okay. to, to uh, Romulus. Yep. Then the supernova happens and they have minimum two years. If yeah, if the if the if the gas of the star is expanding at the speed of light, which, right, which too it's fast. Not. It's, it's too fast. It's a conservative estimate, right? Then they would still have two years from the flash to like gas is coming at us, we got two years mm. to evacuate. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. So I don't think which means the star in the Romulus system is the one that exploded. But yep. that means they're so unprepared for this, when they've been watching the star go through its buildup to supernova over time, that they've made no preparations. They're just, they've just made no adjustments. They're, they, and they're, they do a last minute Hail Mary to the Federation. Yeah. Okay, okay, I got, I got, I got a story. So maybe the, <laughs> political structure of Romulus, mm -hmm. they were all supernova deniers. They're like supernova star, oh, no. star status change deniers. And so they're like, like, it's not coming. It's not coming. They're like, it's here. Vulcans help. Vulcans come. Okay. That is super plausible. <laughs> <laughs> A bunch of deniers in power. And yeah. then, oh, it's here. Oh, oh. But like then, okay. Okay. But then how did it sneak up on Spock? He's not a denier. Or is, or is he? No, he isn't. He isn't a denier because no, 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 he no, no, has no. the ship. Right. The, so so my only guess to that is that that Romulans have sovereign control over their space. And it's not the place of Vulcans and the Federation to be like, hey, your thing's going on there. Like, watch out. Mm -hmm. It's like, like leave like their, their space. They're sovereign. They do their own thing. Like, we won't interfere until until Romulans are like, hey, come, come and come out, mm -hmm. I guess. Okay. And then so they... The Federation is throwing together a last minute rescue plan and they fast track it as best they can. And en route, yep. Spock is like, Just it's, hap it. it's happening. I'm, I'm, oh, okay. Man, okay. man, imagine that means that whoever made that phone call from Romulan to, from Romulus <laughs> to, to Vulcan, they like, they missed it by like a couple hours. Like if they had picked up the phone call a couple hours earlier, oh. they would have made it. Yeah. The denial is so hardcore so that it, they have to. Oh, it's, Last minute, missed it. Yeah. Oh, missed it. Gosh, that has to be the explanation because otherwise Romulus would take action. Yeah. They have to have such planet. strong denialism in their culture. Damn. Okay. Which I guess is plausible because the Romulan culture is very like secretive, backstabby, yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Is there more to this? I think there's more. I, I had little time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I had yeah. to extract the red matter and shoot it into the supernova. Okay, last minute. That makes sense. Last minute. All right. But, but uh, an okay plan. Trip, I was intercepted. 
He called himself Nero. In my attempt to escape, both of us were pulled into the black hole. Nero went through first, Hummer. but what was years for Nero was only seconds for me. I went through the black hole. Nero was waiting for me. Ah, and Nero is one of these hardcore deniers. Just filled with emotion ah. all the time. He's just a ah. denier. And as soon as his home's destroyed, he does a full flip to, it's their fault. It's his fault. Ah, uh, yeah. It and wasn't that the star went supernova on its own. It's, you did it. You made it go supernova. You. It wasn't Romul Romulus's fault. You did it. We had yeah. nothing to do with us. We we're in innocent bystanders. You did it. My if denialism. I check social media, if I check social media on Romulus, like nobody was saying it was there. It just suddenly <laughs> happened. It just suddenly happened. It's your fault. You didn't take action. And so now he's just attacking the next thing. And then he'll gaslight himself into thinking he was never a denier to begin with and he's an innocent victim. I was there perfect. Is. There it is. Oh. Makes sense. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Still, not not such a great explanation of how it went down. Right, there's a little bit of background information that we're filling yeah, yeah. in that I think actually kind of makes sense. Yeah, with the background information, it makes sure. sense. The denialism on Romulus is hilarious. Strong <laughs> cultural problems. Yeah. 